Hello everyone, this is Jarodo, and welcome back to another Let's Play Rise of the Three Kingdoms. So, we have tried to advance the single turn from our previous video, and we have been attacked by rebel forces at Xiaonyu Mountains. They're trying to sally forth. We have the army ratio 5 to 3. I'm gonna auto-resolve this, and we're gonna take the settlement from those rebels. And we're gonna bang a few heads in. As we go into the mountains, and so noble conquest. the mountains will be ours. So we'll just need to, you know, move these guys together, group them up, and I'm gonna build a tower right here. There is no glory in hiding. Because why not? Yes, my liege. Okay, where is that settlement? It might be down here or somewhere, probably. I hope. And the turn report, we're still doing pretty good financially. Richest faction is still us. Oh, I think we are now the richest faction. We weren't for a while. So we're building a bunch of things. And here we got... Let's see, this army right here. So it looks like I can just take Po Yang. So let's take it. So auto resolve. I'm only lost. Oh, not bad. Only a hundred and like fifty men to take that settlement. Glorious victory is ours, sire. Very As good. We're bang a few sire. heads in. These lands are now yours. Now we can repair all of these buildings, and we can do a financial policy. Chen Cao is still Hail at full command. King. This guy is five commands. So that's good. That's very very good. Sire. Looks like we got enemy forces here as well. Command me, sire. Uh, we'll Move. go in between those guys. An order. As you command, hail my king. So we'll gang up on these guys as much as we can. Hopefully prevent them from retreating as well. Yes, my liege, my lord. So who shall lead the first attack? Maybe this captain. The war then, sire. The day and usually that. Hail that is expected. King. Yes, my king. So now we're gonna go behind them again. Oh, jeez. There we go. Command me, sire. As you there we go. Hail my king. And hail my king. Which one did we attack? Yes, okay, we we'll attack this one first. So we'll have Zangba initiate. By your will, sire, the shall commander engage. of the Imperial Retainers will lead over 10,000 men to crush or to uh, vanquish the Sun Clan here. We'll auto-resolve that and oh my goodness, we decimated their forces. They still have a thousand or so-ish men. But in that situation, it's better to auto-resolve than to actually fight on the field, because you probably can't field that many units without repercussions. Okay. Can anyone pursue the enemy force? The answer is... No, I don't have enough men. Okay, so we don't want to over-pursue. I'm sure they will run away into my army. Even better. We're just ganging up on these guys to get the to maximize our larger force. Excellent. Captain Sunai can be a threat. Or rather, he is a threat, but I need to keep my, my forces king. close Lord, by. My king. So I yes, can move out Li Dian and With Tao Tao. And this captain force, so we should have three king. of uh, our seven armies in both theirs. I will march these guys out. Yes. Let's see this guy over here. My Lord. Sire. Uh, Marching to war. Can you siege it? Very good. Sire. The siege go orders. So we're gonna besiege that castle. Uh, send these guys out to assist. So they will besiege that settlement. Jing Zhan. 
Now, let's see, do I have more reinforcements that I can send? The answer is no. I already sent them all out down south. But this is actually like two years worth of reinforcements that we have to bring out. And, you know, just a bunch of guys that we recruited to beef up the army. Let's see, so Chikang Wu. So I do want to show off how the tribal, yes, not the Moving tribal, how the, the non-men look. So I'm gonna fight this battle here. We do have five to two army, army, no uh, five to two advantage in the army strength comparison. But I don't think we've fought the non-men forces on the field, at least against an opponent. Oops, I just dropped my pen. And where did it go? Oh no! Hold on! Alright, I found it. It's on the floor. Okay. So it'll just be us attacking. I mean, I know I have non-men troops here. But I thought it'd be cool to show them off once again. These guys, these guys look really cool though, I must say. The armor is very cool looking. So there's that group. Uh, group of Kyo. Group of Kyo. Let's see, those guys over there. I can't have you guys holding the battery ram. That'd be silly. Who can we use instead? I don't see anyone I can use for this. Oh, there we go. You guys can do it. Then we will group up our archers together in this formation. There you go. As usual, I always forget one. And then from there, we'll have our elephants group up. They're so happy. They are so happy. And then we have a ton. I mean, a ton of guys right there. A ton of cavalry units. Alright, I'm gonna ladder in. Try and take the settlement quickly. Have them get closer to the gate instead of being shot up by everything under the sun. Oh, I actually can ladder up right there, so right on the walls. So I will grab my entire cavalry force and have them come over here. And I will save my elephants to charge through the gates. The Bashu heavy swordsmen, I mean heavy spearmen here. And it looks like everyone is within shooting range except for these guys. Oh, well, that's not true, they just don't have anyone to shoot. So enemy forces, look at that! That looks so cool! Nanman, tribal warriors. Walls are no match what? The is, are these the dynasty warrior skins? I don't think I've seen them like this before. Oh man, those shields look really cool. And, you know, the hat. The hat, I mean, makes the outfit look even more badass. It's like a classic samurai, I guess. Towers have reached the walls. The straw hat samurai have reached the what walls with their ladders. And, wow, we can come up here the gate with the ram. to hopefully take the walls from the enemy. Let's see, 5% damage so far. We've gone up on the gates, I mean up on the walls. Naiman Bowman look like this. The Lord is with us today! Oh, we they're gonna get crushed. The and the battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true right, and so steadfast, taken... victory will be ours. We have not taken this yet. Oh wait, we have taken that. Sweet! We've taken oh, the gates oh. here. We do have some men guarding it, so it's going to be a little tougher to just have my cavalry charge through. So we're not going to do that until we feel we have the advantage to do so. Let's view the other side of the Naman Bowmen. They are like the naked fanatics in Rome Total War. Except these guys, they're, they're dressed like this because it's like super hot. I mean. It's it's pretty hot down down in the south. 
I mean, they don't even have winter over there. So, let's see. Naman Bowman here. They're shooting at something. What are they shooting at? Or maybe they're not shooting at anything. Okay, over here, I need to take the gates as well. Of these uh, swordsmen. Bashu swordsmen. We're about to tear down the gates. Uh, 90%. Gonna send these Rattan Hoplites well. to the attack those men on the wall. Oh man, look how badass those guys look. Those straw hats, man. So, I haven't tried this before. So, I'm gonna try it now because now is probably the best time to try it dude, since we have the army advantage. So, move these guys out of the way. So you got, you got some straw hat Anmon tribal warriors. You know, just hang out, ready to take very much my, my charge we here. Remain true and, steadfast, and then, will be ours. my elephants, my elephants are coming! They're trampling, they're going through, they're about to go through the wall, they're gonna say hello! Oh my goodness! I can't fit through the gates because I'm too fat. Oh my goodness. Oh, the elephants can't fit through the gates. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They, they can, they can. They're okay. They're just charging through, that's all. So over here, you'll see my my really giant elephants are, are kind of stuck in the gates. Only, only moderately though. I mean, like, this guy could touch the... Oh man, his head would have been destroyed. They would have That would have severed his head if he had not ducked. But of course, he didn't duck, so his head technically should have been gone. So, this is a great way to push into an enemy city, apparently. That is pretty sweet, not gonna lie. The enemy are Although, I mean, it does cause quite the, uh, the plug. Ha 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 ha! Oh, jeez. So, my elephants have effectively blocked the way for me. And I no longer command the... Charge! the gates here, so... that's not good. Which means I need to go all the way around over here. To come into the city. We're still charging through... They're still stabbing my elephants. It looks like. Oh no, they killed! They killed an elephant! Those bastards. I just need them to get through the, the darn gates. That's all I need them to do, really. Uh, too bad we lost this gate. We didn't capitalize on charging. We're too, we were too entranced by the awesome elephants here. Which will probably all die at this point. Oh no, they killed another elephant! Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. Look at that. We're doing so much damage right now. So much damage. And since these guys don't wear any armor, well, shooting them down is pretty easy. I would suspect. I mean, come on. One slice and it's done. And we still control this gate. Where is my cavalry force? Oh, you know, just hang out over here. Alright. So they've actually made it. I actually told them to come over here. So I don't know why they were standing all the way over here in the corner. So this massive cavalry force will be charging through this beautiful meadow. There's actually a lot of grass. It's very pretty. I'm thinking they need to mow the lawn though. I mean, come on. It's way too high. 
let's see. And we're gonna charge at the enemy general with our cavalry force. Okay, they did that. They slowed down. So you'll see the massive wave of cavalry forces charging through the what gate is that? The eastern gate. And my guys are still stuck to the giant elephant butts. Oh, freaking elephant butts. Oh, and look, there you go. They just killed all of my spearmen. Oh wait, they didn't. They just caused them to have a heart attack. That's all. Alright, we'll, we'll try to get in there. Wow, the tribal warriors really pushed my Rattan Hoplites up now. Okay, so it looks like only one elephant left. No, two elephants trying to get through the gates. They're almost there. This one's, this one's a little bit confused, but I think he'll be okay. Alright, get these guys to move in. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. This battle's pretty much over. Oh, yep, the elephants are here. I mean, the battle's over. There's no way they can the win now. The enemy general is dead. We control the city now. I don't think there's anyone else besides these tribal warriors really giving me a hard time. So, I don't think they'll be surrendering anytime soon, so let's just watch them fight for the remainder of the last three minutes, I guess. We're gonna actually take three minutes because we'll be fast forwarding it, but wow, look at all those dead bodies. I must say, that's really nice looking character skin. Oh hey, reinforcements! Behold how our all of They're so happy to join the fight. The we lost 400 men to take that to... city. And so we're one step closer to pacifying all of Shu. <laughs> one step closer. Yang Chang is ours! Victory. Hooray! We'll bang a few Victory. heads in. These people no damage to the city apparently. The forest, yeah. There we go! do a growth build policy so look what happened he had like what was it, two command earlier now he has like a lot more <laughs> <laughs> so we routed that whole army we captured the city the historic city of Yong Chang first established as a county during the Han Dynasty after Liu Bei conquered Yi Zhao Wang Kang was appointed as the minister of Yang Chang. After Liu Bei died, Yang Kang sought to reaffirm his independence in southern Yi province and attacked Yang Chang. However, the city was defended by Liu Kai and Wang Zhang. By Wang Kang, Zhu Gei Liang later arrived with reinforcements and put down the Nanmen rebellion. So that's what happened there. I see. So I will send these guys over to Yunnan. Well, I was trying to, you know, call the rebellion, but... Let's see, maybe I don't need to send them all in there. Okay, now I need to... Ooh, look, we got some tribal warriors as well. I'll get rid of... Oh, we actually have a lot of men here. I don't know why they're still so unhappy. Orders, sire. I guess I could do a swap. My lord, by your orders. I need to send the Rattan guys in there. By your command. Then we'll come back in here, to Yang Yes, my lord. We shall see if we can to bribe this guy to join us. Well <gasps> Twenty-five thousand. Okay. It was a fair deal. Yeah. Take all my money. Sire. And disappear forever. Peace must proceed, sire. Too yes, bad they couldn't Lord. actually We're join us. Sire. That would have been better though. It would have been better if they actually joined us. Well, that's okay. Of course, sire. Alright, so we still have Zuti, I believe, in this settlement here before we basically conquer everything to the 
west of the capital. I don't think we can liege, fight this. There I don't think we can ever fight this guy. I mean, I don't think it's possible. I don't know what in accents. I thought we would be able to force the Emperor to abdicate later. Because it did ask us a few times, but I guess we the game decided not to anymore. It all looks like there is a rebellion here. Send up a small force to take him out. Tao Ji. So, like, whenever I fight up here, there's always a general available. The trap is set, sire. As you wish, orders. So, we we'll just split the we'll force, split it even. Sire. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. Wow, it's already 20 minutes, so we will continue our campaign in the next video. I'd like to thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time!